Hello guys, good evening. Welcome back to the 7 Up Benz YouTube page. Please, if you're... Alright, so this is my Coursera quiz and it's on the 66.11% out of 80% to pass and 100% excellent um, graded mark. Alright, so if you don't mind, please, and if you want to use part of my um, solutions to figure out what you could do better, I'm sure some of my mistakes, you wouldn't want to make them again, so you could find the right answer through my own mistakes and through my correct answer, you could pick the correct one. So, I trust you all, if you can watch this, 100% me I had to get number one to see don't forget to leave for me to us on this video people who cannot get solution to their Coursera um courses and get thank you so much first one I believe to now so just take a moment to see all the answers correctly and I wouldn't want to disturb your time. All right, thank you. Um, you can see the question: Which of the following is a characteristic of fat thirty-two file system? Check all that supply. So this is it. So let me go to number two now. I believe we've seen that. Let me go to number two. <clears throat> I think I got everything in number two. Okay, I missed something in number two. What's the difference between a GPT and MBR partition table. Alright guys, so this is the solution for quiz um quiz week four. Yeah, quiz week four. Under the file system types, file system types, file system types. I'm gonna leave every details there in the description of this video and the title so you could see it before you watch. Thank you. So right here we have all the difference between a GPT and a hard partition table is Check out our supply. The right answers are MBR only allows you to have volume sizes of 2 terabytes or less. And the next correct answer is GPT allows you to have volume sizes larger than 2 terabytes and a large number of partitions. Then I uh, pick option GPT allows you to have volume sizes of 2 terabytes or greater, which is incorrect. So now the correct one should be just two correct answers or MBR. I'm super um I'm super Setting and sure that MBR is MBR is a new standard of, for the partition table is not is incorrect as well So that means we could have only two answer here Which is MBR only allows you to have to allow volume sizes of 2 terabytes or less and GPT allows you to have volume sizes of 2 terabytes And the larger number of partition. They are the two correct answers. All right. Thank you. So move to number three now There are nine questions there in total nine, nine questions in total. I believe that is the update now for 2023-2022. So yeah Whatever year you're watching this, just make sure please you drop your comment if you like what I'm doing right now. And if you want to see more of this, please drop your comments below so you can get me um spike drop and get me interested in doing more videos like this for you all. Alright. Before you can store files on your hard drive, which of the following has to be done? Check out our supplies. That is number three for the solutions. So we have mount the file system first, partition the disks and format the file system. Um in order of RIQ. Format the file system comes first, then partition comes second, and mount the file system comes last. All right, so that is the whole of our key. I think the one that shouldn't be selected is nothing our drive can be used. Okay, so this is correct for so number three. Then number four right now. I hope I'm not too fast for you all to see, and I hope you can see the screen clearly. So this is number five. What does Windows OS use to provide the physical memory available in the computer to applications running to applications running on the computer? The yeah, right answer is virtual memory. The right answer is virtual memory. All right. So let's move to number six. You can always rewind if you. Okay, number six. It was incorrect. The first version of second hard drive would look like this. So I missed it. I guess. So, I think you can just make a research about it and get the right answers. Then number seven, here is number seven. Which of the following commands in window will create a symbolic link called cauliflower to the file name? Broccoli.txt? Question mark. All right, so the right answer is mklink cauliflower broccoli.txt. That is the right answer for number seven. Like I said earlier, I missed number six. So, number eight, let's go there. Number eight, um, number eight is if you want to automatically mount a file system on computer startup what file do you have to modify 
the right hand side is etc fstab so automatically one file system or one startup you have to add device entry to the etc fstab file or so that's the right hand side for that number eight and number nine right here guys which is the last one to speak of <coughs> And then in Linux, what's the difference between a hard link and a, sys and a system link and a system symbolic link? Check out our supply. The difference now. The difference are if you change the original name of the file, a hard link will be stuck, will work. A sim link points to a file name, that's the correct second answer. Then a hard link points to a linked file number. That's correct as well there. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. And I believe that's all for this quiz in week four. File systems and types. I'm um, sincerely appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching and do see you in the next video. Peace out. As you can see right here above, file system and types. Alright, thank you for watching. Peace out.